All right, hey guys. So this here is a video on basically my opinion of what would be best for self-defense as far as air guns go. Now, just to save you all the time, I don't think any of these are up to par. Um, I don't think any air gun is really up to par. Now, I'm going to get into all these and what they can do. I have some air guns that actually shoot just as powerful as a real gun, for instance, like this Rite right up here, this top one, it goes about 1,400 feet per second. That's, uh, to be exact, 1,350 feet per second, but round that up, it's almost 1,400 feet per second. That is quite a bit faster than a 22 even, which is a real bullet, one of these. Now, the reason I don't think it is up to par as far as a real gun goes is A, the size of caliber it shoots. Um, it's a 177, just to start off with. That's a .17 pellet, that little teeny little thing in this hand right here. That's what that gun there shoots. That's a 22 bullet. As you can see, it is almost half its mass, uh, sorry, it is almost double its mass. In fact, if you're going to put where it's actually crimped in there, you're looking at triple its mass. So that's three times its weight. Okay. <laughs> when comes to ballistics, um, it's not actually the size of the the um, the object, as in a diameter, that is what makes it devastating. It's actually the weight of the projectile that gives it its impact. It's like, um, well, just these two, for instance, are two different size calibers of air gun pellet. I have a 22 and a 177, uh, 177, 0.177. That's 0 .22. 0 .22 is actually exactly double, pretty much, of a 177. So if I have both these objects going the same speed, obviously that's going to do more damage because it's twice its weight. It's like a bowling ball and a golf ball going the same speed. Let's say they're going, um, as fast as my fist is going, that golf ball is going to hurt, but that bowling ball is going to do some serious damage. That's the difference. Um, so you've got twice the, the weight. So with an actual 22, you've got almost double a 22 pellet as to a 22 bullet. You're looking at almost double that mass because remember the bullet sits about there. So you've got almost two of those sitting in there. So that's one reason why I don't think an air gun is up to par for um, self-defense. Quite often you only get one shot with a lot of air guns, like this one right here, which is a four, 495 feet per second, shoots 177 or a dart or, or a pellet, um, single shot. That one up there is literally almost three times this speed, and it shoots the same thing. But neither of them I would ever use for a defensive purpose. Um, I would actually use a baseball bat before I used anything, any one of these, for self-defense. I go to my rifle. I got lots of real guns. I grab one of my real guns with a bayonet on it uh, before I ever went for one of these. I don't need ammo. I just need the the tool itself to defend myself. I'd use those by far without it, with, without even thinking before I ever went for one of these. Came to self-defense, and I need to use one of these. I would actually use my fish bonker. I would use a, an axe, a machete, a piece of wood, a stick. Um, this almost six foot pole right there. I would use that for self-defense by far before I ever used one of these air guns for self-defense. I don't think an air gun is even something to consider for self-defense. Um, you can use it for hunting, you can use it for pest control, you can use it for target practice. They're great for that. Um, a lot of these are airsoft guns. I wouldn't even consider them for self-defense, not even if I put steel marbles in them and shot those at six uh, millimeter uh, BBs, uh, metal. I wouldn't even consider that for self-defense. Paintball gun. Got one right there. I've got lots of paintball guns, but that's just the one I chose for the video. I wouldn't even use that for self-defense. I don't care whether I got pepper balls or not. Uh, I gotta tell you, those pepper balls, they suck. They don't work. Um, you see them in TV, they, they, they seem to work. You see Mad Dog, and he uses them. 
that's that bounty hunter. I'll tell you this, that show is fake. They're actors. It's not real. Um, they, they say it's real, but it's not. I guarantee you it's all acted. And that um, those pepper balls, they don't work for shit. Um, there's just not enough. Like, sometimes if you're really weak to the, the, the spiciness of them, it might uh, affect you a little bit. But realistically, a guy hopped on meth or crack, it ain't going to affect None of these guns are going to stop a guy hooped up on crack or, or meth, period. Um, this, these pellet guns that shoot the eight shot that operate on CO2, they're going about 410 feet per second. That will sting, yes. It'll get caught up under the skin. You might take out an eye, but that's all you're going to do. You are not going to stop them. You are going to piss them off even more. You basically sign your death warrant when you, when you go for any of these. Those two over there, like that bottom one, is very powerful if you pump it up 35 times. However, you've got to pump it 35 times and you get one shot. And you're not, you, you probably won't kill him. That one up there will kill. Absolutely. That will kill, but you get one shot. It's like the equivalent of a black powder rifle. Um, are you going to defend your house with a black powder rifle? Well, maybe if it's the only thing you've got, sure. But you get one shot and then, well things come your way. So, something to keep in mind. Uh, the idea of using a gun in defense is basically you're putting them down and you're keeping them down. These things will not keep anyone down. They will sting and that's all they'll do. They will not, they will not put a guy down. They will not make a guy give up. They're just going to piss him off. So I really don't think that an air gun is a good option for self-defense, period. I've seen a lot of videos of these, um, I call them sheltered sheltered people people who have been sheltered all their life who have actually never been in one scenario in their life um me personally i've been in a lot of freaking street street issues <laughs> a lot and um i never used an air gun in them because i knew better uh, but I, i've had to defend myself and i'm still here today because of it but i'll tell you this i'm not here because any one of these have saved my life these would not. I would not ever rely on <clears throat> on any one of these two to protect myself. So that's all. I'm just trying to say that like, these these videos that you're seeing of paintball guns or airsoft guns or pellet guns for self defense, I gotta say is just whack. It's stupid. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. Um, you, you're better off, like I said, with a baseball bat. Um, if you really want to defend your your house, you. Seriously, get the proper tools. Um, I mean, Jesus Christ, get a real gun. Don't, don't, don't be wasting your time and money on on these air guns. These air guns will cost you just as much. A lot of these here will just cost you just as much as a real gun, more or less. The airsoft is actually on the cheaper side. You won't get the same for a real gun. But as far as these air guns go, you can pretty much get the real deal for almost the same price. So. Why not just get the real deal, um, unless it's a licensing factor, then go with something else, something that you can use. I, I swear to God, a machete or an axe would by far outstand any one of these in a self-defense scenario. Um, I don't care whether the guy's got a gun. You use one of these and the other guy's got a gun, you just signed your death warrant. They will kill you. Plain and simple. So that's something to think about. Um, air guns, really stupid to think about as far as a um, self-defense scenario. Even if, like, you shoot a guy in the face, whatever, like, yeah, it's going to fucking sting. Worst thing that will probably happen is you'll get charged with assault. <laughs> and, and that's that. Um, like I said, these, these are not used for self-defense. They're not made for that. They're, they're really not powerful enough for that. Um, anyone who thinks that these are good for self-defense has no clue what they're talking about and is living in a fantasy.